My Lords, uh, after this extremely rich and informative debate, I just rise very briefly um, to make two points and offer the Green Group support for all of these amendments. And just to comment that I share the shock expressed by the noble lady Baroness Tyler and others that we are in a situation where we are having to try in the House of Lords to put back the situation of what it was before, that this bill is making it so much worse. But I particularly wanted to address the amendment 269 about young carers. And I perhaps should declare that I have personally never been a carer and not been in that situation. But I just want to share a little bit I learnt from Sophie Dishman, who I met in 2015 when she was a student at Sunderland Uni University. And she told me that she would become a carer at about the age of 12, and it was only when she was 18 she realised she was a carer. That point so many others have addressed. But what she did then, as well as continuing to care, was she also created a campaign at Sunderland University to inform others about the situation and perhaps to help others identify themselves as such. She produced a very clever, witty, attractive tote bag um, that had the headline, Being a carer at uni can be a lot to carry around, with a checklist of all the things that you might have to do being both a student and a carer, and a really useful leaflet designed for staff particularly um, signs that a carer might need help. Now, the point I wanted to make, which I don't think anyone else has made, is young par carers are by their nature people who've developed an enormous amount of capability, knowledge, skills. They are amazing individuals. And it's actually not only the right thing to do, but also in society's interest to make sure they're able, as the noble Lord Lord Howarth said earlier, to flourish, to really develop those capabilities. It's in our interest to do that. And there's just one other point I wanted to point to an article that's only been out for a couple of weeks in Child and Family Social Work, um, Volume 27, Issue 1. It, it, the headline is, It's Making My Bad Days Into His, into his Bad Days. And this is um, talking about young carers in the COVID emergency. And this is where we are now. And it talks about just how much more difficult all the withdrawal of services has made it for carers, particularly young carers. And I do just want to make the point to, of course, we have a huge, as yet uncertain, but certainly large burden from long COVID. And there's going to be huge caring responsibilities. Many people are going to end up taking on over that.